Arabia had gone down off of Long Point, many a local resident had found themselves fishing for some of the whiskey bottles that had a habit of popping to the surface and drifting to the shore. Harith was doing this when the fog came in, and he noticed some figures coming in from the lake. One he knew immediately as Dr. Troy Moriarty, the bootlegger scientist who was the arch-fiend criminal mastermind of the local organizations of crime. But the other figure he couldn't see. However, when Harris saw the strap containing the boxes of bootleg whiskey coming ashore, carried by some invisible being, he knew there was only one person it could be, but that was impossible. For Fafner the dragon, Fafner the flamboyant, had been slain centuries earlier by South Bay Bessie, along with his brother Reagan. However, who else could it be but Fafner, wearing his tarn helm and helping Dr. Troy Moriarty in the bootlegging business. Harith had heard the man and the dragon quietly discussing something about a stranded craft out in the waters, and after they were out of the way, he snuck to a nearby rowboat and rowed out into the misty lake where he came upon a stranded Great War torpedo boat with its dragon figurehead still sticking up on a torpedo drive and he climbed aboard this abandoned craft. He had obviously somehow obtained a previous war's torpedo boat from the Admiralty and was using it in the bootlegging business on Lake Erie smuggle booze over to the Americans in the Cleveland or Ashtabula areas. He decided they wouldn't be needing it if since they were criminals and he slowly worked the craft loose of the sandbar and he hauled it into a nearby creek where he hid it from all prying eyes.